go with taco. Freed up the coal blockage. Well, at least I thought I did. You can do it. So remember your lasers on the uh, if you're using those uh, conveyors. I don't know. I'm almost tempted to send all the coal into the macerators uh, and get rid of it all. Alright, so I just found mouse 3 to jetpack and mouse 4 to glow stick. Yes, they were, Josh. Were. <laughs> yeah. Each level is a, you know, for a different ingot. So there's biomass on the bottom, coal, copper, um, tin, iron, lithium, gold, nickel, titanium, and then crystal at the top. Oh wow, uh, you know what, I may not need to really worry about lithium that much because apparently one of my quarries ran into the lithium. How much lithium? Um, without jumping down into it? Oh, sir. Let me see if I figure out what level it's at. At height 200, or depth 200, let's see. Here. I'll jump down there see what... How much? The, how big the vein is? Hopefully, I don't die. Oh, 
Oh, it's got 132,000 left in it. Not bad. So Could I have a bunch of mine. Could be a top of that. Am I gonna make it? No, 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 no! Shoot! As I almost fall into the other quarry hole. <laughs> and ran out of power just as I got to the top. Oh, this other quarry is at titanium. Huh. That's cool. Coal, copper. One's doing coal, one's doing copper. The other's doing titanium, the other's lithium. Just wish I could just destroy all the coal. Um, at the moment, no, I don't, other than as a backup for my power generator bank in case I run out of power. Um, I was thinking about maybe building a tier 5. You know, I was about to ask and say what makes the tier 5 battery so good, because the last time I read it, I thought it said 4,500 and it was just throwing power everywhere. You know, it has 4.5 million. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot more room for outputs and inputs. Oh, well, obviously. I mean, it's not like things, you know, like, what, 5 by 10 or anything like that? <laughs> right. So anyways, uh, what I was saying, though, I was saying about you making the tier 5. Them, it's like 12, and even then it's not even that effective, because you're still being attacked near constantly. Yeah. At least you're holding off the bosses a little bit, I guess. And covering the tier five with the power so thermic generators. So what happens if the um, CPH dies? Well, since I have it on, was it uh, normal, casual? Well, whatever it is above the. It just respawns. The, the second, second difficulty, difficulty level. level. Yeah, it yeah, just yeah. respawns. It's it just adds on to the boss counter. Is that all? Yep. Yep. And of course, and it would reset the uh, tr energy transmitter. Not like that matters because you know all your power is everywhere else. Unless it resets all power. No, it, it would only reset the orbital energy transmitter, which would be terrible if I lost the CPH if I was charging that up. Oh, yeah, 100 million to charge it. Means that you'd need to have like what? 22 and a little bit more T5s. 
to power that off. Well, that, I was think I was considering whether or not I should, whenever I level out on my energy production and versus defensives, uh, the power that they use. I was thinking about doubling whatever I have for power generation and making a couple more tier fives and just dump everything into the OET and see if I can just charge it up real quick. But then I realized that with the power drain, if the if I do too dump too much power into it, then I won't have power to fire all the lasers. So I don't know. But of course when I get a power that thing up I'm gonna have missiles turned on. So it might be easier than I'm thinking it's gonna be. Really, it's like you just need a separate power generation. Like, all you need is you just need to have like a separate farm and just like really. If you're worried about drain of power for all your shit, all you need to do is make a separate line and just hook up a bunch of T5 batteries to it. Just a ton of T5s, and you can just do it all in one burst while yeah, everything else yeah. can defend perfectly fine. In the long run, that's probably exactly how I'm going to do it. It's just charge up 22 and a half batteries from other sources, like just a bunch of solars, like maybe have like 20 of them or something, and then just have a bunch of solars to power them up. I really, no, really don't, don't understand the th way threats being generated now. Ever since this last th change to threat a, a few days ago, whatever it was, or a week or so ago, as here I am, I'm generating 131 bars, which is coming from 596 ore per minute. Speaking and of which, I have somehow I'm generating right now. I'm at 15,800 threat. Like, how does that even calculate? With and 73 bosses are spawn, 80 bosses have spawned. And there's some wow. I have a fast line cart that I just got out of nowhere. Um, oh, uh, where were you at? I don't know, I was just walking around trying to find shit and it just popped up. I also have um, a few transport pipes, three of them. Are you in the cold cavern area? Yeah, I was just kind of waiting around there trying to find okay. shit. Okay, there's a spot you can put them, I'll show you real quick. Because I'm going to come back up and see this 80 bosses come in. I'll teleport down there and I'll show you where to put the minecarts. There's a deployment station down there. Alright, see where I just spawned in at? So I just go through a teleporter. No, you, you, you want to be in the area, cold cavern area. Okay, now if you look, well, here, let me, right here, there's this uh, hopper that's got vacuum mode on. Let's uh, throw the minecarts in here and I'll put them back on the track. Meanwhile, what's this stuff clogging up all these pipes? Or is that normal? 
Um, actually, I don't know why it's clogging up pipes. What is it, though? Seems like my stuff is backed up over here for some reason. What the heck's going on? Thanks for the achievement. Oh, I see what's happening. The spoiled remains are backing up because the main line up is filled with uh, all that titanium and stuff that we've been put, put into the line. It'll clear itself out in about an hour or two, probably. Alright, let's see here. How many bosses are spawned now? 87. I said, I want to see this. This is a big, big wave of bosses. Yeah, I definitely don't want the simulated mode doing this. I want to do it for real. Look at all oh, the lasers fire. Good gracious. I want to check this out. Well, if you stand on the roof and look towards the tier 5 batteries, it's just the left corner ahead of you. Actually, I don't think clients can see bugs. Are they all gone, or what's going on? No, oh, they're not gone. They're they're still coming. I'm just uh, if you're looking at the stream, I'm just over here trying to get off to the side so I get a better view of it. There they are. Can you see it, or are you having a look I, at the I stream? Can, I can see. I can see some bugs. Yeah, they're coming in. So there's really no purpose to shoot at them. The turrets do 360 times as much damage as I would do, anyways. <laughs> the tier <laughs> the three, three ones three. do, anyways. Yeah. Oh, unless you really want to, you could do charge shots and stuff too. Yeah, they only have like a hundred health. If you can figure out where to aim. <laughs> I'm hitting. So, you know, we have 80 some bosses spawn right now, and a new attack just started. That's crazy. Hey, right, by the way, when you attack a ooze, it attacks every player individually at the same time. Oh, really? Yeah, so yeah, while, while it's while shooting it's... you, it's also shooting me, and if there's five other people, it shoots that five other people at the same exact time, too. Okay, so it's not, it's not okay. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for yeah. telling me that. Now, don't only shoot them if they're near me.
Actually, yes, I do have some that less than threat. Um, I have, I don't know, 12. Uh, 12 running, and it's only reducing my threat by 600. So if, if I want to probably set up another solar farm and cover some tier 5 batteries with calmers, I could probably get my threat reduced where this mess won't happen. <laughs> But they're rubber the bands. They're they're rubber bands and back and forth. Is that normal? Rubber banding. Uh, uh, I don't see anything, anything like that. Like that. Oh, because on my end they they're flying forwards and then they just fly backwards. And I'm guessing that these mine carts are grabbing everything. Yes. Yep. They pick up from the store uh, vacuum hoppers. And they delivered up there on the top platform, and then the other mine track takes the uh, takes it down to the coal cavern. Oh, this is really cool when you get, get in the, all the laser shooting. I think my garbage and the uh, things there. The uh, had a bunch of random drops. Well, if you want to empty bug parts from your inventory, don't do it into the vacuum hoppers. Do it up here in the cryo hoppers at the top of the ramp. ramp. No, it's too late. So, like, are these all bosses? Yep. Yep. Okay, so my bullets are doing nothing. They're a lot smaller on my screen. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, this, uh, all these laser shooting almost looks like the Trans Siberian Orchestra concert I went to a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> By the way, also, you know what? Looking at the stream there and what I'm seeing, this actually gives me another idea of Factoria where the bigger your base is, the harder the enemies will get. So, and e and, e and Evo, uh, no, um, the reason why I'm not using missiles is because I don't want to waste them. Uh, this is an older world before he fixed biomass generation, so biomass is kind of hard to get compared to what it's like in uh, newer worlds. So, with this kind of massive onslaught of bosses, I would probably eat through all the biomass within a 500 meter radius in like a day so I'm saving all my missiles and missile production for when I go to charge the orbital energy transmitter Meanwhile, I'm hoping by doing a whopping 10 damage. Yeah, it looks like I need another uh, tier 4 battery over here. Because if, if I'm going to get waves of 80 bosses, it seems like the 80 bosses seem to uh, want to break through. So you said you killed a quarter million of these bugs, right? That's what That's the, what the uh, stats show. Jesus. It says 257,813 mobs in 8,174 ways. Oh yeah, they're not going to make it to the CPH, I don't think. They haven't hit the main base defenses yet. Actually, they're just starting to... 
Though they are getting past the pickup range of the minecarts, it seems like. Oh wait, no, there's more minecarts there. Oh, like oh, I said, like I, said I, have I have too many of the ball size, so I really don't care if I lose them. Plus, they have a 48-hour despawn timer on them. Like I said, I have thrown, I think, uh, eight thousand, seven or eight thousand ball size into macerators today. Uh, I'll see. Let me clear out this stuff, this resin stuff, a little bit. No, 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 no. Why not? Because the Geiger spawns organic rock, and organic, and organic rock, rock is used to make pretty much all the stuff related to minecarts. Oh, okay. And if it manually place it, then actually, I haven't I tested have that. Then there you go. You should test it. Also, thank you for telling me that. That's another thing I didn't know about. I was wondering where the hell organic rock was. Now I know. Well, organic rock, if you're going underground, any cave has between two and five in it. But once the tunnel nukers make their tunnels over here, you could go all the way down to where the mobs spawn, which is between 100 and 300 meters out, and um, just loot the organic rock about two, three times a week. And um, it produces a fair amount. Oh wait, oh, they produce this stuff randomly around the place when they spawn in? No, the Geiger, um, see, if you, just come over here, where the mobs are coming from. Yeah, no, I see, I see where you're talking about, but like, what about it, though? The organic rock spawns on the walls and stuff of the Geiger. Okay, but like, how does the Geiger spawn up here? That's from this from this from, from the tunnel nukers. Tunnel makers. This was all, this was all uh, a solid, solid mountain, mountain, or, something. mountain or something. Oh, and the tunnel makers did this, and then they outline it with the Geiger. Right. So see, I just went out, looted all the organic rock the yesterday, process. so it's not gonna be that much. Now is, here, it, like, but... is it like forty-eight hours IRL time or? What for despawn? Yeah. 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 Okay. Also, do you see me shooting these guys, like taking pot shots at them? No. No. Uh, uh, using the uh, laser ray gun or whatever you want to call it is only client side. Uh, so you're running out here a little ways to see if you can't find any more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah usually, usually it takes usually a take... couple of days before it starts spawning back. But here, right yep. Here, yep. It looks like at the exact spawn point, there's a few pieces out here. Uh, okay. But yeah. yeah. We need to make like a farm for this and see if it works. Uh, tunnel oh. nukers now look like this orange glowing thing with a giant sack underneath it. Um, it's it's a rather small flyer, but. So should I just take out the organic rock, like should I just break it? If you want to, you can, but I think the more organic rock there is, the quicker it starts spreading. So I, that's why I usually don't touch it, but a couple times a week. Well, I'll break off a couple bits. I'll keep a little bit more. All right. I'll look around the caverns while I search for more stuff anyways. So, oh well. Of course, I went away from the central area, so it's simulating stuff instead of the actual fight. Doing the actual fight. It's done, it's done a good job clearing out the bosses. I mean, none of them got to the CPH on this attack. Yeah, and you said there was 80, so. Yeah, well, there's, yeah, well, 50, there's 50, 50 more spawn now, so from the new attack, whatever, whatever angle that's at. How do you tell how many bosses are spawning? Uh, look yeah. at the threat 
the uh, scanner. I will tell you how many bosses you spawned. Yeah, but again, since you're a client, you can only see within 64 meters around you. So it won't show it for yeah, the whole world, world like it will for me. Yeah, you should put some scanners on the corners too, just to make it a bit more convenient for the client. Oh, there's a oh, scanner yeah. on each corner. Uh, Seems like I'm missing some minecarts. You know what? That's right. I reloaded the world. I bet you there's a bunch of them uh, derailed again. Damn it. Probably. That might have been why I was. I picked one or two up. So how much health do the bosses have and how much do the normal guys have? Boss has half a million, normal guy, the heavies I think um, have like 90,000 I believe. And yes Josh, the tunnel nuker is clear path. That way, you know, if there's a bunch of mountains between the spawn and the CPH, they don't go to height 200 to get to your CPH and you never see them, you can never shoot them until they start coming down the purple beam above your CPH and just bomb you. And there's not no chance, chance to, to, to and defend also, against it. And also not to mention, it also be kind of, it also helps them, I think, um, tunnel through um, your defenses as well a little bit. So like if you, in case your CPH, you know, can't just do that unless they can't bomb through blocks they cannot uh, tunnel nukers do not destroy anything that's craftable okay so they won't show reinforced so if you use reinforced uh, wood or stone you're good okay well that gives me a reason to make my walls have reinforced well like I said the problem with that though is if you make them too high the bugs will just fly higher regardless of where, where the tunnel nukers have made their tunnel so keep that in mind and also not to mention that you can't build anything right above it too so wait, you can't build anything right above it so if there is a sky limit you will eventually hit that sky limit yeah yeah so there is no invincible build where you just encase it and make like a one like a one by two doorway for you to get into it's, if they will if just fly right over and make your life living hell. Pretty much. It's 2.40. I should have been off like an hour and a half ago. But fuck it, I'm having fun. Yeah, I've got an appointment at noon and it's almost 6 in the morning. <laughs> I really hate how the minecarts derail every time you restart the flipping game. I'm at height 111 and I have 18 minecarts on me. Be nice if they were stackable. That way, you just pick them all up.
So you want to throw me some uh, lithium pin? I put so some I put up, some there up there next to, next the, to the, the wall where the teleporters are in the storage hopper. I found it. only five. Oh well, that's that's enough for now at least. CPH might die. Oh man, yeah, I see it. What, what's getting through? A bunch of bosses? I'm in the base, but what was damaging it? It's still getting damaged a little bit and it's regenerating. What the hell is hitting it? I'm about to pop in, I'll see. Yeah, I know. It's horrible, Josh. Yeah, they were getting through. Look at all these all ball size just laying around. I just picked up like 20 eyes. Wow, these little wasps or bees are getting through. Uh, probably because everything's targeting bosses. See, that's what happened. There's a new attack, a fresh attack going on, and the room that's uh, the bosses from the previous attack are still coming in. That's all it is. Yeah, also I can see what you're saying now is that uh, those uh, turbines are making 300 per second. That's pretty hefty. How much is the, um, each high energy composite? How much is each one? Well, like I said, it's uh, four biomass for each one. Only four? That's not too bad. Could be worse. Yeah, I did find a note of like 170k, so if we ever need it. See, massive attacks like this, I bet you it's just draining the shit out of my power.
Jetpack is so good for getting around. It just makes you fly so fast. Yep. Like, even if you're not using it to go vertically, it'll definitely fucking make you go really fast horizontally. Power used in, so far for this attack is over a million. Oh my god. Yeah. There's still 74 bosses spawn. The next attack happens about five minutes. You think I would have killed the entire population of all these alien species? Yeah, no kidding, it's like the Payday 2 cops, they just keep fucking coming. But now that I got my picked up my minecarts, put them back on the track. I'm collecting uh, bug parts again. Let's see here. I'm not seeing any drain on my tier 5 central battery hub. Um, my relay is full. Let's see what kind of charge I have on my s solar farm tier 5. Alright, I have a feeling this thing was full. It's at 3.1 million. And my solar farm batteries are empty. So let's. I really wish we had a better um, power level. Like. Ours we can hold 2,000 units and we can only hold 500, why can't we get another power upgrade? Yep. So yeah, that I've spent a hell of a lot of power on this recent attack. Much more than what that uh, threat generator showed. Or threat scanner. Because uh, the 32 tier 4 batteries have like over 8 million power, and let's see, I think they were at 150, 170,000 when I looked at it, and now they're empty. Yeah, it's over the course of four attacks though, so. And the sun's coming up, so I'm gonna start getting power generation again.
Wait, do you not use the lithium pings? Oh wait, yeah, you do. It just doesn't show in the hotbar. Oh, it does. It just it doesn't um, use up until it's actually completely done doing the scan. Okay, well, on like on my hotbar it says five, in my inventory it says three. Huh. Okay. Two hundred fifty one K lithium. Alright, so this, right now, this past midday, the tier 5 is starting to charge up again, so that's good. Even with another attack coming in. Mm. Meanwhile, I would build stuff, but it's like, I don't know what to build, to be completely honest. And also not to mention that, um, really, what would I build? And, uh, where would I build it? Well, basically the thing is right now is just basically resource management and uh, collecting more resources at the moment. So really I can just build wherever I feel like and just kind of bring him back to base. And then you can just build a teleporter to where my base is. Run a power line down to it maybe. I mean, that's one way to do it, but uh, the most efficient way to where I guess it would be easier on the server would be just to expand off of um, the central area. Well, I mean, that's kind of what I was going to do, is maybe just take, like, kind of build a cave or something, I don't know. Actually, my CPH is going to die. Is it? It's at 100%. Yeah, there's a boss with 230,000 health about to go down on top of it, and there's another one behind it. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yep, there it goes. There's 48 bosses left. Now the turrets get to shoot a bunch of invisible mobs <laughs> for like the next five, ten minutes. Did you know you can ride a minecart? Really now? Really? You stand next to one and you hit U and you'll ride it. Hmm. 
Not really though, you just pour it onto it. Oh no, yeah you do, never mind. It's just not really working for a bit. That's nice. Just take a nice little trip. No, you can only ride the purple ones, so that's kind of unfortunate. No, no, you can ride that. The, the thing is, when it hit you, it, it's actually the closest minecart to you. So if you're standing closer to the purple one, then it's going to no, throw I was on next that. To, I, was next, I was next to a green one, it just didn't go in. really odd when you're riding it and it docks at a docking station and you just like your head sticking through the, the loading uh, thing waiting for it to take off again mm-hmm I feel like going to pass out it's 3 in the morning Tell you one thing, you want to get down in the cold cavern area really fast, you ride one of these mine carts, it goes like a thousand miles an hour. Oh, no, I see. I thought that was just the fast mine cart doing this thing. Now it's on land. And not to mention, that doesn't even really power, does it? Nope. It's just getting back up, but it's gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, that's why you want to ride a green one coming back up. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll take it like 30 minutes, it seems, to ride a purple one back up to the top. Yeah, that or just take an elevator. Or it's elevator. Preferably it's elevator. Okay, this green one's been docked for an hour and a half, so I'm alright, just been sitting which I guess I know. Well, this is awkward. Alright, well, I think I am done for the day myself. Like I said, it's after 6 in the morning. I need to get up and 
four and a half hours so I can go to my appointment. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go pass on myself anyways. Like, I'm getting dreadfully tired. I can't tell by the sound of my voice. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning, I guess. Yeah? Oh, and oh. Now, uh, now DJ Arcus shows up on the uh, stream. Oh, really? Oh, well. Oh, boy. <laughs> right as we're both about to pass out. <laughs> I'm very surprised that I see this game being like pushed to its limits, basically, though. Sometimes. Sometimes. Because <laughs> it's like, if I were to be making a game, I would think, like, if I saw my game being pushed to like these limits or like performance started to lack. I'm gonna collect uh, what resources I can, that way it doesn't back up my system. go so I will see you tomorrow probably all right take it easy you too well DJ is on the stream but I think he's asleep
Tomorrow I'm gonna work on getting rid of the rest of my mass storage, I guess. Um, it's actually about the same as what it was, uh, to be honest with you, uh, after I started removing all that mass storage, um, I don't know what the, I know I added in a sorting area today that whenever I go to that little sorting area, I guess from all the pipes and stuff. It drops a little bit, but the main thing is it doesn't get bad until after about two to four hours in to playing the game. All of a sudden, the memory usage starts going up, and you have to restart it. And the biggest issue with that is having to restart the game to just leaving it running all day the um, minecart bug where they derail every time you restart the game anything that was any minecart that was on a slope just derails well um, on average uh, it sticks at being on what is it a good performance level memory usage sticks around about 3.1 gigs and then after about three hours it goes up to about five and then after about four and a half hours it's around seven seven and a half gigs okay I will send you that As a matter of fact I'll grab the log now Yep, yeah, and when it's seven and a half gigs, the CPU usage spikes about 60, 65 percent. Um, whereas normally it's about 40 to 55, average about 40, 45. Yes, I am aware of that. Alright, I have sent you a link to the current output log, DJ. And know if you get it.
Hey, yeah, I lost about 30 minecarts yesterday and today. Were you able to grab it, the Arcus? <coughs>
<laughs> um, actually, it was about 30 carts that dropped. That I picked up. And what's RHR? Oh, never mind. Duh. Let's see, it, what, what's happening is uh, when the world first loads is when the minecarts are dropped. So I don't know if um, it's the, they drop before your logging kicks in or not. Either that or they're dropping when the world is, uh, when I closed the world out and that log file was deleted or overwritten. Yes, uh, as a matter of fact, you asked Josh that's on the stream if he's still there. He watched me pick up, uh, like I said, it's about 30, 30 carts that I picked up. I had to make two trips to the uh, deploy, deployment station. Matter of fact, I can restart the game right now and you can see the carts drop. <laughs> hey, I have no problem restarting it. It's like right now. Let's see here. Okay, so I have plenty of minecarts on the uh, track down there. So I can quit the game. I'll even copy this uh, log file before I start the game back. Just in case it's in the log file from when the game closes. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see how many drop this time. Oh, now it's gonna make a full out of me. Either that or it could be because I was standing here when I loaded in the game. But the three times I reloaded the, up, is that one? Nope. The three times I loaded the game today, there wasn't a single minecart almost on this track when I reloaded the game. That's kind of odd because, like I said, I mean, 
it was when I reloaded the game that's when they were there because I checked it before and after uh, that's weird all right I will If any dropped outside, I'm gonna check out there real quick. All right, take it easy. Speaking of heading out, I need to go to bed. So, thank you everybody for viewing the stream and go close it up. See you next time.